I'm Ray Usla. I'm a singer-songwriter. I'm from an island near Seattle, and I now live in Los Angeles, and I play Eastman. I actually went from cello to piano and then voice, like started taking voice lessons, and then found my way over to guitar. It's gonna rain today, so stay inside. But I don't think I started taking guitar seriously until I moved to the East Coast, and I no longer had a piano. Uh, and I had to find a way to write songs and support my songs when I couldn't, you know, access a piano or a keyboard. When I was three, I was actually too small for the quarter-sized cello. So to learn technique and theory, my parents built me a cello out of uh, cardboard boxes <laughs> from my dad's restaurant. So I was essentially playing a trash cello for like six months. And it had, you know, the, the pretend strings and, you know, the stickers, and I sort of learned technique. So my first cello was made of trash. But Bainbridge Island is really interesting. So I sort of grew up in this, like, small town next to a city that loved and celebrated the arts, and then also had exposure to, you know, sort of the rougher and realer side of music when I'd go to Seattle as a teenager. So it's kind of an interesting mix of things that probably influenced my early songwriting and still does. Now I have a band that's based in Seattle, and I think working with them just is sort of unraveling this new era of music that ultimately is probably a lot closer to Seattle style and the roots of Seattle being rock and a little rougher around the edges and a lot less polished. In Montana. The first song I wrote on this guitar was Montana. And there's something about this guitar that's unlike any guitar I've played. It feels like there's less of a barrier between me and the instrument. A challenge I have, even recording or capturing a performance of something, is that you're putting something in between the experience. Normally I feel like there's this clunky thing that's getting in the way of my song. <laughs> and that's not the case with this guitar. It's, we're very symbiotic. And I've been writing songs unlike any I've ever written. And I think it's because of the instrument. There's some sort of layer, and I, I think there literally is, that's been removed or stripped from the guitar so that when I'm playing it, it's like serving the song in tandem with my voice. This guitar, feels like home and feels like my origin of playing cello because it has an antique varnish which is typical to orchestral instruments. And so there's kind of no surprise that I ended up with this in my arms, just like the cello for all those years. And that's signature to Eastman and Eastman's origins. So we sort of met each other. <laughs>